Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Wednesday the 15th of February, the local media headlines today. The Cornish Times has a story about what appears to be a dramatic increase in the number of dolphins washed ashore on Cornwall's beaches. The paper quotes the Cornwall Wildlife Trust as saying that last month was its worst ever January for strandings, with 99 dead dolphins and porpoises reported across Cornwall. 13 dolphins were washed ashore on the Rain Peninsula alone. The reason is a mystery. Radio Cornwall's top story today concerns a local trawler which has been forced to discard a thousand kilos of sea bass. The station says the rules put strict limits on how many sea bass can be landed, but that it's very easy for a trawler to exceed that quota accidentally, leaving the crew no choice but to dump the catch overboard. The Falmouth Packet tells us that Penryn's landmark clock tower could be about to get a facelift. The weather vane and clock face need some repairs and Penryn town councillors are now exploring prices. Pretty much all of the local media report yesterday's big decision at County Hall to demand a rethink of that proposal to make Truro a European Union capital of culture. Cornwall Reports is among those declaring that the bid is now as good as dead unless Truro City Council breathes new life into it next week. Cornwall Council would then need to convene an extraordinary cabinet meeting to agree the spending of more than half a million pounds on another roll of the dice. Cornwall Reports also has this story about new plans to build houses on the site of the Wadebridge Town Football Club. The Wadebridge area is supposed to take 1,100 new homes before 2030, but local councils are struggling to agree where they're going to be. And that's it for now. Don't forget to keep checking those local news pages on Cornwall Reports. They're likely to remain free for as long as they're under construction. And you can always see videos like this, completely free and before anybody else, on the Cornwall Reports front page. Thanks very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.